This is Adam Pratt at the Game Grid Arcade in West Valley City, Utah, currently at the Valley Fair Hall next to the Red Robin. And this is our Tsunami Motion Cabinet uh, with six games in it. We have Mech Warrior 4, Air Raid, Air Strike, Crimson Skies, and then two Roller Coaster Simulators. Uh, but we'll show you Mech Warrior 4 here. Kind of our prize game for this. Uh, this came out a couple of years ago, I think 2001. Uh, Mech Warrior 4, of course, the last game in the Mech Warrior series so far. Uh, get five levels to choose. Let's go. Uh, and, oh, now all the games on this cabinet, it'll show you what the controls are. It has this flight stick on the right and this throttle control on the left. The uh, one unfortunate thing about Mech Warrior on this is it doesn't allow you to choose other mechs, which is kind of unusual. Because all the other games in the Tsunami cabinet allow you to choose different uh, planes, characters, etc. More buildings and other mechs. So how they made Mech Warrior into an arcade game is they just gave it all these different waves of mechs that you fight, and just the numbers increase as you go up, and there's a time on it. So the point is just to get the highest score as fast as you can. Pull well, lots of things up. And have missiles, too. So with the different levels... Mass destruction, all that good stuff. It's a lot of fun. So we'll have to see if we can show you the other games, so let me get myself killed. First, I guess it's not terribly difficult at first, because they just sit here. It does get harder, uh, but it does take a little bit of time, so I guess it gives you time to get used to the difficulty. It would be faster for me to just uh, get to the next level. It's slightly harder. I think they should make far more. Uh, I think they should make a lot more mech games. For the they could do it a little better than this. Give you more options. Bigger screen, cockpit cabinet, that sort of thing. Uh, my time's almost up, so. And we'll go on to at least one other game for this video. Don't have time for all of them. I score awarded. <laughs> Time's up. Time to explode. Oops. My last name doesn't start with a Q, but that's what I get, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's show you another game. Let's show you Airstrike. Uh, of course, Airstrike is what's shown here at the top, but it, it's not the only game on the cabinet. <coughs> um, it's a fun uh, overhead shooter, though, kind of sort of like uh, Raiden, or I think it was called Zero Gunner, uh, where you're a helicopter overhead shooter and all that stuff. <coughs> Fairly decent graphics for the time. Seven, eight years ago, this one I can choose different copters, but you can't choose all of them at first, you, only as you get farther. And so this one you can choose different, uh, you can get power-ups, get missiles, blow up ground targets. has boss battles and things of the like. See 
that far I can get without dying. Not sure how many levels this game has. I've seen a few people try to beat it, but they've never gotten that far, so... Power-ups to fix your helicopter. But overall, it's a fun overhead shooter game that's not very well known outside of arcades. So I don't believe there's any console version of this one. But that pretty much sums it up for now. We do have a couple other games to show you on here, but for the sake of space on the video, we won't uh, record that. But uh, we also have Crimson Skies and Air Raid, so if anybody wants to see those in action, we can show it to you. But for now, this is Adam Pratt of the Game Grid, signing off.